Okay, hello guys. So today I'll be teaching you exactly how to basically use Power BI and um, rather and how to actually download the reports and publish it on your GitHub account. So in Power BI, you have multiple options: importing from the SQL Server, pasting data into a blank table, and then using it here for data visualization, or directly importing an Excel profile. Okay. So I'll just download a random sample data set, which Power BI on its own. Excel format because Excel is the most commonly used format, Power BI, or either it's SQL for companies who have large scale data. Yeah, I have these columns. Okay. Yeah. And now you load data. Okay. If you have any pending queries, then apply those changes from your previous work. Otherwise, just discard them. Okay. Okay, now the data has been loaded. So now to visualize data, let's see. If I want to measure my sales against my cost of goods sold, so I can basically choose any diagram here. Back bar chart, line chart, map chart. First, let's see what my total sales are, okay? So I just click this, it appears, and I have to load one of the data sets, or any one of the columns here. So I load sales. My total. 180.73 million sales. Damn, I wish I actually had that much. <laughs> okay, and um, you can actually even color over here. For example, within these options over here, format. So you have to further go into the background and choose the color here. For example, I want to make it turns blue. Make it uh, even purple and turn purple. But since it's the best formal, yes, it looks the most formal here. So, and I also want to calculate my total sum of goods sold. Okay, the sigma sign over here represents total. You can also change that by count if you have to go over here to the table. It's saying sales price here. It's written as sum. You can even do it count wise by making it count like that. Then the sort now because usually it automate automatically puts on sum when the price is the same for everything. You have to specify it if you don't want it. Now, now let's see the manufacturing price, sales price. Okay, let me. Uh, which one? Which should I use here? Let's try sales again by country. Okay, so I will use mustard bar chart. Country. Here now I have all the sales by country here. I want to make another business card. Okay. In here, background. Now I want to measure the profit against file over here. That column chart on book. You need to be aware of which diagram to use for what type of data, what type of reference. Against sales. You know, this is showing that look, we have sales worth at least this much, profit only this much. This is really not a good sign for a company. Unless the company is very highly cost geared, like a example, a steel mill where costs are usually a lot in selling anything, so the profits are usually less. So you need to also have study the industry and data first before loading it to Power BI because you have to present it on. Okay, and units sold, which should be in count form, it's here in summation. So I'll have to edit that as well. That's been done. Now, it's sold. And now it's sold. 
if I put in the wrong diagram, it can't show more than two each line. Now for this one, let's take a line chart. Click here after doing this, so it knows that you're still not on the same diagram. Now if I click here back, then it's only going to show all the columns I've selected and if I want to select any more columns. Let's click here now to make sure that's not the case. Line chart. Let's sold for that. And okay, basically over here it automates the values based on what it recognizes them. It recognizes them both as values, so you have to just specify what you want in the axis and in the legend. Okay. So in the axis, let's put in year. Here, here you go. So units sold by year. It's showing how much my units have been sold. Okay, so over here basically I need to here just show you how to download it as a PDF. So I think it's just Save as. You can even choose it here. Okay, if it's not here, save it as a Power BI file. Okay, after that. So you just need to save this in case you lose the data immediately or for any unknown reason, like computer shutting down. I'll just name this as well so you know what tab you're creating what kind of data on. Now you have to say export. You can export as a PDF. Now Sample BI downloads. Okay, now I'll take you to my GitHub account. I'll show you how to upload. Now that I've taken you to my GitHub, click on my profile. Go to my repositories. Okay, I basically have created multiple repositories for different machine learning models, different computing files, so they can use them and I can use them whenever I need to make a similar project. So, over here, I have a separate one for my Power BI project right here. Basically, add a file here, upload files, and here, file I just created, sample BI. It's been uploaded now, so commit changes. And it's been done. See. Bingo. You can now upload all your Power BI projects on GitHub like this and show it to your employer just by sending it a link. Look at my reply. Now you have to create a repository for this. For a repository, you have to basically go to repositories here and you have to create a new repository. Repository name, description, and then create repository, and then just go and upload it the way I told you. Okay. Nice. I hope you guys find this video useful. Back on this.